black people. Yeah, it came from black people. Yes. Uh, also, at some point, I would like us to bring up the fact that a lot of music, a lot of music standards are double Eurocentric. Like the standards that music is set to. You need to clean your nails. Is, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have my thingy in the car. I'll give it to you. Anyway, <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be on task. We are on we, task. We are on task. Someone was just being rude. I wasn't being rude. <laughs> I was just telling you. Um, listen, I've been with these hands. I see them. I know. I'm aware. Fair. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, tell, tell, telling me to mind my business. I've been minding my business since I picked you up. I don't understand it, but fair. So, okay. So, are we ready? Are you ready for your... I'm sorry. That was a... Yes, I am ready. Yes, I'm ready. Code Switching Naturally podcast. In three, two, one. Hey, everybody. Hey, Hello. good morning. Good afternoon. And good night. Oh, Is that what we're doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. I was just <laughs> really excited to say good morning. Oh. Well, yeah, welcome back to Code Switch and Naturally. I'm Chani. I'm AJ. I'm Q. And um, <laughs> we're doing great. We're doing so, so good right now. Already off to a great start. I Yay. hate intros. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yes, and for for Q, who likes to correct us if we don't put, and this is code switching naturally, is if we're not going to say it, we make sure we say it at the beginning. Thank you, you know? so much. You're so for welcome. For doing your job. <laughs> You're so welcome. I'm glad I could be an assistant. As our as our so, social media manager, he is, in fact, responsible. Like, I'm, I'm the one that's supposed to go, hey, we need to do this. We got to make sure we put the name out there. And stuff. You have to say the name. Yeah. Like you got to say it. So again, then who we are is a thing. For um, sure. But yeah, no, we did. You you both did great. You did both of those things. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Great A. Mm-hmm. So really quick. Top notch. So really quick. What's up? Yeah. How are you? Well, I'm so how, tired right now. <laughs> how, was, how was your trip? It was really fun. I had a really good time. Where'd you go? I went to Houston. Why? <laughs> to Where we're going to leave that offline. Oh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. I see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see that Stop that. <laughs> Not that it was in harmony. Too. I know. I know. I, oh my God. <laughs> Y'all, so we freak out because the the synchronization. Oh my gosh, I said that right. You, oh, did. you said it. I did. You the did. synchronization that we have within the three of us. Sometimes it's, at every any given moment, it's wild. It's wild. <laughs> it's truly, truly. Bizarre. It's it's very odd. <laughs> Me and Quinson were just in sync right before we started recording with the water bottles. Me and her just sang in harmony, y'all talking. Just, y'all just saw that. Yeah. And of course, there's the. If you make fun of my missing nails, you're anti black. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, here's the thing. Probably nobody, nobody would notice it. No, no, except no. now. No. So now no. that you pointed it and out. And now when I edit it, I'm look. going to zoom in on the fact <laughs> that you had your nails. <laughs> I'm going to Okay, but in. if you say anything about it, <laughs> you're anti-black. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm definitely going to edit that right enough for you to see it. I'm going to zoom right in. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to put my hands down. I see. But you, you, but brought you talk this, with your hands. You brought this upon yourself. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> So getting into today, um, <laughs> so it's Music Mana, everybody. Hey, hey, we need there? a Music Mana something or nothing, I but I don't, I don't know. We need a theme song for we, Music Mana. We enjoy music, but we don't like currently make music. That's the problem. We right. don't make music. Well, you know, guys, well, I'm you know. so all over the place. I don't think I'm ever gonna find something I like. That I'm gonna be okay with. Who are you telling? Because I just I'm very picky about my music. I'm my brain is too sporadic to like sit down and like make one song. I make snippets. I will literally make snippets of songs and then like 
I don't know. Can I release an EP full of jingles? I don't know. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it probably could. It probably, probably made. It probably be freaking awesome too. Mm-hmm. Ooh, you know what we could do. We could holler at our, our Neo and tell them to make some. For real, we could. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, um, you know. Or you could just release that EP. Just put it all on SoundCloud. <laughs> just, yeah. just call pseudo, it interludes. Like pseudo, pseudo haze the, them. The EP hey, is just called you interludes. need to do the things. Pseudo, <laughs> meaning you're having, fake. You're having two separate conversations. I can, there. but I, like honestly, uh, but I'm honestly, part of both. I like, know. I hear both. I know. So, <laughs> music mana, welcome. We're we're back at it again. And welcome to another Black History Month moment because uh, tis the season. We tis. are talking about basically um, how. American culture, American music was built on the backs of blacks, period. You know, I actually wrote um, my senior, like my senior paper, senior thesis, senior, whatever it's called. They called it a lot of things. They called a lot of things. Mm-hmm. My, It was actually... It was a very stressful moment in time. It was. <laughs> it was actually about the... Um, the progression of black music in America and the sociopolitical significance of each genre. Um Y'all hear how like how poised she got? She's so. Did you hear game. it? She just. Oh my gosh! I She's love so it. Smart, it's about how important black people were in music. Why'd you switch up? Why did you do that? <laughs> because I can close, do both. Why did you code switch? Code you could have switched it. I was. Well, let's not. Let's not go there. Why did I code Wait, switch? Wait a minute. Go where? <laughs> let's not go there. Why did I code switch? <laughs> So we just talked about this with you. You know, he called me out at, fully, in the drive-thru yesterday. I, I don't even know what he's talking about. I did. did. Have you er, have you heard her order? Yeah. Food? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you know how different it is? Yeah. 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 It was glaring yesterday, and I just went, mm, well, that's a thing. Glaring how? All I said was, can I have a number three, please? Mm, but it's not what you said. It's how you say it. It is how you say it. And, and you, you're a different person when you're talking to people. Because I want my drive. food to be right, and I want them to understand that I'm being nice, but don't leave nothing out of my shit. Because then I ask for my sauce on the side. You know, I get my cheese sauce at Wendy's right. from my nuggets and right. my fries. Right, and you know why they, they always do forget it? Do you know why they always forget it? Because you're making unreasonable requests. <laughs> because no, it's I'm not. not. Is cheese sauce one of the options for their nuggets? Is it? No. Yeah. Is it? No. Oh. No, no, it's not. It's not unreasonable though, because you How have it. How did we get it. here? We... <laughs> Sorry, I called. We talking about code switching, and he called, called me out, out yesterday at the drive-through. It was hilarious. Anyway, it was. I so, didn't do nothing though. Music, black culture, America, continue. <laughs> Your paper, social, right. social so and political. It was about the social political uh, significance of each genre and how it came about, but. One of the interesting things that I I read about, well, that I had uh, done research on was the habit of, uh, especially for like radio, they had what was called like the brown sound era, like or like the uh, the time period of where they would play black music. It was like between like three and five p.m. Mm -hmm. You can listen to black people, Mm -hmm. but like outside of that, they would just take black music, rewrite it, and then play it white. And then just make another version. Yeah. Make it white. Yeah. Sounds about white. Yeah. <laughs> and that was so odd to me because, like, why is there a time sign, like a time stamp for when you're allowed to listen to black people? So that people would know when to avoid it. <laughs> for 22 hours out of your day, you cannot listen to black people. Well, it was also the. I think a good example of that is. Um, hairspray oh yeah yeah and how what i mean yes but dream girls no i'm not talking about the the grabbing of the culture i'm talking about the time frame in which you could listen to music where it was obvious that they were saying this is negro day hairspray (laughs) this is is a good example (laughs) but dream girls is definitely a great example of taking black music and making it white for sure like absolutely, it step to the bad side came out of that. Yeah, it's true. Like, but, but the, the the Caucasian version of "Got Me a Cow Like Yeah." Ooh, I legitimately, I legitimately 
hate it so much. <laughs> <laughs> that part is so terrible. And then they just sitting on the car. Just, and then, you know, the rest of the people are just standing, like the, the black people are just standing like, oh. oh. The, the Supremes, <laughs> a.k.a. the Dreamettes. Sorry. No, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just had a, I had a moment. <laughs> My brain was going. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, I went to Todrick. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Forbidden. Oh, that's a great song. Too. Yeah, but like, no, like the story is very much so. Like how he has. The- oh, yeah, the inverse. So if you, well, we don't really support him anymore. But well, I don't. I don't really support him that much anymore. I'm so um, mad because all of his like specials, like all the movies that he made, are, are so, so good. phenomenal. And they like they put a lens on black struggle and get, and queer struggle, and that's awesome. <clears throat> but you can't be shit. Did you see what he just did to Tamar, Big Brother? Like talking mad trash about Tamar. Yeah. He was like, oh, you know, she could be so much bigger. She could do this and do that. She's basically a drag in a woman's body. That's what he said, pretty much. Got a slick ass mouth. <laughs> and she was like, oh, okay. So, um, but yeah, he had created this um, beautiful piece of work called Forbidden. Mm-hmm. And it was basically the inverse so being a heterosexual couple was wrong was considered wrong and basically could get you sentenced to death and then being black was superior to being white so he kind of attacked both he flipped like flipped the script on both yeah Mm -hmm. and there is there's two songs yeah like there's a a white woman who is singing the house down Mm. boots and it was crickets they nothing and then there was uh, a black woman who was doing was that like classic like poppy look what I could do gross mm. doo-wop-y. Get so black and just like that right and the crowd's going wild and the crowd eats it up yeah. and what did what, what did they call the white person it was so funny Shirley Ralph was in there too and her character called the waitress something I don't remember but either way like yeah. it was Huh? It was like Negan or something like that. It was something so. <laughs> it was, it was anyway. so funny, but, um, yeah. This oh, um, the words to that song is very important, I guess, in in hindsight because, basically, he was like, "Well, what do you do when they say our love is forbidden? Like, what do they do? Like, what do you do? Because for, the since the beginning of time in America." Even Native Americans were treated like shit. And they they own this land. This is their land. Like, this ain't got nothing to do with white people. Y'all can't. And the fact that you've come to a space, take take it over. And said, hey, this is how I want to run it. This is what's important. We're, in, we're superior to all of this. Y'all don't know nothing. It just doesn't make sense. They just have a really good PR team. Which is... <laughs> I hate you. I, am I wrong? Honestly, honestly, no. the entirety of the 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 backwash of the history of backwash <laughs> of the, Which that's is really what, what it is. It like the history, so like as it's being heaven. retold, is really just really good PR. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a really up. good, that's, really good PR. That's why critical race theory? Is, you know, not First of all, critical. Yeah. When did it be called? When, mm, be called. When was it called critical race theory? Recently. Recently, so when could, it became so criti- criticized. Right, so they could they could attack it and take it out of school. Oh, uh, okay. Because I, I was saw, like, when the fuck did that come from? Going, it's like, oh, I know why. It's so they don't see their grandparents or like their family members in books screaming at six year old children <laughs> for going <laughs> to, to school. school. <laughs> yeah. Because it's 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 crazy how it's not crazy. She's 60-something, Ruby Bridges. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's like late 60s. Mm-hmm. That's not that long ago. Correct. And all this stuff is in black and white mm-hmm. when clearly there's pictures of her in color. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And she looks amazing. Have y'all seen her? She oh, yeah, does, she does she look does good. Look very good. She for looks her age. beautiful. She also doesn't look like what she's been through. If you At all. <laughs> <laughs> I saw so. a TikTok. There was uh, some girl that was going around, like, asking, like, because, like, a lot of, like, th- those eras, like, those periods of time are really close to us mm-hmm. and we get to talk about that do white people ever ask their own family like have you ever been to like a protest have you ever have you ever exp- been someone who perpetrated racism have you ever been to a lynching have you ever been like have you ever actually experienced these things because they're so close to like it is so close to us we know that like it's for us it's our grandparents mm-hmm. or like someone that like is not that far from us yeah it's not that far from y'all either. Right. Our uncle, um, shout out to you, Uncle Bub. Hey. He actually wrote a book called Our Time Has Come. And it's absolutely... Uh, what word am I trying to say? It was definitely kind of like a precursor because he wrote it before Obama was even running for president, I think. And in the book, at the end, the... The character, like the main character, He's was throwing out spoilers. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. If you don't, if you haven't read Our Time Has Come, please do because it is an amazing book. Not because it's my uncle; he just really wrote the hell out of that book. Like the play was hard to watch, but the book itself was also hard to read in a in like an emotional way, in a good way, like, like an emotional way. Yeah. Like it was so good because you don't realize. I guess for me, what I'm trying to say is my dad has siblings that are old enough to tell the story. And some of them were born in Mississippi or in the South, in the Jim Crow South mm-hmm. type situation. So for for me, I'm like, I'm, I'm not disconnected from it. By a generation or nothing. Right. Like I'm still right up, up, right, right it's, up. On we're it. still right up under it. Yeah. Like our yeah. grandparents. My dad's parents, 1918, 1928, were when they were born. Mm-hmm. My mom's parents, 1940, 1942. It's like you, you don't, you don't realize how close you are to it. Exactly. You, we, we know of the victims being very like we, we know they're close to. It's not that far from us. Mm-hmm. But the perpetrators are also not that far from us either. Right, mm, we're not that right. far removed. We're not. It's not. It's and not like the, it's not like we're you know dwarves and humans. No. We don't have different generations. <laughs> and I think that's one of the things with like people have to understand like the perpetrators are not that far from you. They're they are part of your history. They are very closely attached to you, and you might not even realize it. Mm-hmm. This is not far for like far removed from you, right? Right. Specifically, so, I mean that for like white people who are like, "Oh, it was so long ago." No, it wasn't. Really, no. <laughs> ask your grandparents. <laughs> Actually, ask your parents. Ask your parents. Like, like, don't even. You don't even have to go that far up your chain. Like, ask your parents what it was like and see if they're honest. One. Mm-hmm. And two, like. So shit's again still happening. Very yeah. much. Yeah. So like, And right. now they're trying to erase it and say, well, it wasn't us. We have nothing to do with it. Yeah, but you're living in the luxury of what they caused. You're living in that privilege. You're living exactly in the moment where you don't have to think about it. And you could just make a law to make it disappear. Too bad we're not going to be silent about it. And we're going to keep talking about it. And we're going to slap the shit out of you in an in a, in a, in a Applebee's when you <laughs> Because mm. you shouldn't be using those words. Should not. And we won't be handling that, taking that anymore. So let's get back to the music. Oh, Because yeah. we fully went on a rant there. Well, I talked warranted. about my paper. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so. And she went socio-political, so we went there. For sure. And, you For know, sure. it's totally fine. Um... Okay, can we talk about how a lot of the OGs in the music world talk about the fact that, like, the music should say, should reflect the times? Mm -hmm. Mm. Now, I do agree that there's quite a few songs that explain the times. How's it never? Um, Candy Looker is not a reflection of the times. 
well, okay, hear me out. It was a reflection of their time at that time. <laughs> and so is WAP. Reflection of their time at that time. <laughs> and I just think that, like, we could... I think the problem that I have is people keep thinking that we're supposed to be focusing on one thing at a time. You know? Like, we can't have a good like, fucking time. Like, I can't time. be on my thought shit and be wake up everybody at the same time. Like, I, I can't understand. be on the same time. I can't be on demon time at the same time. I don't understand why people think that, like, we don't have, like, the mentality of, like, adults, though, where we can be focused on a multiple things at one time. Like, I could be, I could have some hotivities and still be pro-black at the same time. Hello. Right. <laughs> Hello, black. And then turn on my thought shit. It's an even distribution I don't understand why things. I can't do both. <laughs> I don't care. I don't understand why they're not both at the same time. I feel like because your pro blackness should also be pro honeness. Like, if it's not also protecting like, hoes, like being it's exclusionary. Up, being up on my thought shit, despite all of the racial prejudices that I got. Is both. I think that's a great idea. So do I mean, this while also twerking. Yeah, like, I mean that's a great. Honestly, idea. I feel like that's like it is in its own right revolutionary to be in the times that we that the, we live in. I'm still going to be joyful and have a good fucking time. And I think that's the craziest part of black people. Like we are the most forgiving, resilient, joyful people, despite what we face. No, not always. I no. mean, not, for not, the no. most part. For the week, we, we. There, well, now, do we not I have times where we, we break down out of a bad, so a bad situation? Cause baby, every time, every listen, something bad happens. You can, you can all guarantee within five minutes, somebody in the circle gonna make a joke. Somebody gonna do it, and all of us gonna laugh in the midst of our tears, every single time. Every time. Now, like I said, we are the most resilient, joyful forgiving people and too forgiving why we keep inviting these white folk to the cookout there is no cookout i don't understand why we do that i never really understood that there is no cookout there isn't one <laughs> i'm sorry what did, you just say? <laughs> what did you just say oh you didn't hear me no i said You better get you a black man at this cookout. Why can't I have both? There is no cookout. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We know that. Why do we keep doing this? Because it's first of all, it's a metaphor. Cookouts are a great time. Where, where have you been? It's a metaphor. I am not going to praise it's not real other races for doing what they're supposed to be doing <laughs> by saying you get an invite to the cookout. I invite you to my cookout. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so the next time we have a cookout, Cheney not coming. coming. Okay. That is not what I... Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So, like, when there's a cookout, if somebody's invited to the cookout, should there actually be a cookout happening, they're invited, they can come. Fanta Lord. Anyway. So. Music. We have gone off the so many no, times. No, but, no, no. I, mean, I, we have. Is music manna though? We okay. <laughs> I'm just saying we've we've ranted. I'm not saying not, they're not warned. Not really, because they all tie into the music of. I said music of the times. Are you trying to name certain specific songs and dissect them, or is, or what? Because all of this is, is indignant on music. I mean, technically, music the music that did reflect. Like I said, it reflected back on those specific times. We still have we still have music that does that today, actually. Like we produce music that's reflective, especially like after like protests, like a heavy protest. There's always like mm -hmm. heavy output of music. So who can you think of off the top of your head right now in today's time who you feel is more into the blackness of it all? Like the the straight up like protests like pr protests uh pro-blackness the progression of black people well that's i feel like that's hard to say because there's so many faucets of blackness right i mean so, so i mean it would what really artists come to mind toby. that's all i'm asking toby is a very good example of 
blackness, black black joy mm-hmm. personified. For personified. Sure. Mm-hmm. Like you, it doesn't even really have to be said. Like you just know that that's what that is. Right. You don't have you don't have to explain his music at all. You just put it on and you understand. Tank, yeah. Tank and the bangers. I love yes, Tank. for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That song "Black Folk" is pretty good. It's it's very good. Here it comes. Beyonce. Beyonce. Okay, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I will give her that. Yeah. I will give her that wholeheartedly. Yeah. Started started like heavy with formation and then has just Well, and even and even before that. I th- I would say even it was before, before formation and lemonade and all that. Don't get me wrong. She's definitely had it, but that one was the first black. Like, uh, yeah, clear that, I and think definitive. that was her biggest explosion. Yeah, I'm blackity black black. If y'all didn't realize it, right. I am blackity black black. black. I like the Jackson Five nostrils. <laughs> I have it was hot very sauce explicit. in my bag. Swag, swag. yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it was very explicit, yeah, right. right. So, yeah, formation was like the big, the big one for sure, and then fair black parade, black is king. Okay, but wait, y'all remember? Okay, so I probably people are probably gonna think. Remember we used to come home from school and BET, like used to have the videos playing after school. Yeah, like 106 yeah. Park. Yeah, not 106 Park. It was like Didn't, a it was I a time frame where it was just they straight video. They had videos. Sugar Free Sunday. It, was that was that BET? Are we about to have a, Man, uh, a Mandela effect? Was it Sugar Free Sunday? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. You know what? Go back I'm to what you were saying. I'm thinking Sucker Free Sunday. But. God damn it! It was Sucker Free Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. But um, there was a video. I think she was in it. It was her, Brandy, Monica, Missy Elliott. They basically redid Wake Up Everybody, but it was like early 2000s. I'm gonna find that video. Okay. Because I know I'm not tripping, but people looking at me like I'm crazy because. They're like, no, that's not, they didn't do that. They did. And they basically were trying to keep the song going into the, to the times. So also I was like, I feel like she's done that way before. Yeah. But like the overt, bitch, I'm black as fuck. Right. And like specifically like her in her own career. Speaking of her, her is very much a Agreed. good, a good mm. one. Agreed. Um, Janelle for sure a lot of them um a lot of the artists that uh, that like exhibit a lot of like black i don't know i don't know what the like black excellency i guess you could call it is mm-hmm. the, the, a lot of it has nothing to do with what they're they it's not more what they do more than the more than what they say i think because like they it's not like a lot all their music is just them saying i about pro blackness, like they have a category of things that they talk about. Oh, you know what we forgot? Mm. D Smoke. Oh. Oh, I was gonna say Kendrick Lamar. Him too. Mm-hmm. Is it me or is it every time I see him on stage, there's some, there's fire, there's flames. It's just... for sure. <laughs> for Kendrick. Sure. Kendrick. Yeah. For sure. Always, yeah. always fire. Yeah, I'm fire. Fire. It's fire. It's Liddy. Well, okay, wait. I'm, I'm concerned wait, about think. the pyrotechnics. I don't think. Did he have pyrotechnics in the halftime show? I don't think so. I don't think he did. You know what? I don't think so. I don't think he did. Were they smoking shit? Was there smoke? Oh, of course, Snoop smoked right before he started. Yeah, not smoke. Oh, of course. Duh. Not smoke. <laughs> Kendrick. Was there Was, was there, there fire? smoke on was stage? There smoke? I don't think so. He was on the like on the turf. Like they basically kind of had like the turf was covered with like the city of LA. Mm. And different neighborhoods and stuff. Mm-hmm. So he wasn't on like anything that kind of provided. You can tell that smoke. we did not watch. We fully did not. <laughs> I have to go back and watch it and remember, I, but I don't think he had any pyrotechnics. Cause, cause remember when you said I missed it? <laughs> In that moment, I agreed, and I knew that. To be fair, I was working. Yeah. So I like, I, I had another reason. What was, was I doing? Was that Sunday? Yes, yeah, it, it was a Sunday. Because that's when Super Bowl happened. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Super Bowl is always on a Sunday in February. I mean, it was a good game, but yeah, no, the the halftime show was amazing. It was black as fuck too. It was. It's black been black as, as fuck quite a few times. Black as fuck <laughs> plus Mark, aka Eminem. Plus, yeah, 
Yeah. Because it started with Dr. Dre, mm-hmm. then Snoop, mm-hmm. then Mary J. I heard she looked good. She looked the fuck good. Okay. She needs to start her own line of thigh high boots. She, she needs she to. Does. I don't <laughs> know what she's doing. She would be, unless she's already wealthy. She was so wealthy. Oh my God. She would. Design your own thigh high boots. <laughs> right. Like make your own brand of thigh highs. Yeah, and of course, everybody was. was was trying to make a big deal about the fact that Eminem took a knee. They were like, NFL said, don't do it. He was like, so you mean a thousand percent, a hundred percent, absolutely do it? Got it. He still <laughs> took a knee. They told they told Snoop he couldn't wear his blue bandana in his back pocket. Mm-hmm. So the, the nigga showed up in an all blue bandana outfit. <laughs> I was like, okay. And then Dr. Because Dre you're not going to stop black. people from being who they are. Right. No, it's not going to happen. Right. Yeah. Especially Snoop. Especially these petty motherfuckers. Right. And, but people, people saw a video of Snoop taking a couple puffs before he went on. I was like, it's somebody was like, oh my gosh. They, he's lost a fan. Obviously, then you've never been you, a fan. If you did not know that that man is high as a kite all the all time. the time, hey, smoke weed every day. That's Snoop. That is Snoop. That's Snoop. That's that him. Snoop. Like that's. I know it's not him singing that. Yeah. <laughs> so that clear. I got it. But it was like the blackness that like ensued. I think. I think for us, where we're showing up unapologetically and not feeling bad for being who we are mm-hmm. in any space. Like, instead of, like, trying to fit the box, if either you're going to accept it or you're not, I think has been the essence of music nowadays. I think that's like, definitely the era that we're in, like, um, music-wise. We are currently in the age of, we're going to be black. It's going to sound and, how we want it, it to sound. It's going to be, it's going to be phenomenal. And you're mm. just going to have to deal with that. Mm. And yeah. Riley, okay, Riley. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's, she's beastly, too. <laughs> Even with the wide, over-the-top singing that we love to do, because why Why would we be so monolith in singing? It's art. It's expression. Get the fuck over yourselves. Like, why? Right. And let's just, let's just be clear. There are some white people that can sing the house down. For sure. And, For sure. And we appreciate them. And there are lots of, like, genres and sub-genres of mm-hmm. music out nowadays. That were certainly piloted by by black people. By white people. We're getting there. But a lot of the roots is black. Like <clears throat> country music. Correct. The blues. Correct. Jazz. Rock. Rock. Yeah. House music. Correct. House music definitely. House music definitely. What about lo fi? Lo fi from Lo Fi is not necessarily it's hard to even like there's a lot of debate about it being considered a genre mm-hmm. because it's technically just a, a profile for the music it's not even necessarily like it's just it's how the music is made mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's not necessarily its own genre right. at least that's what some because people will of, argue a lot of songs you just take and make lo-fi it's like yeah. a filter it's okay. like a snapchat yeah. filter but for music for music <laughs> a lot of people kind of like calmed down mm-hmm. yeah and a lot yeah, of people okay. don't necessarily want to call that uh, a, a genre. genre yeah that's fair i could see why it, it could be could be like a sub genre because there are a lot of those because there's like mm-hmm. like cloud electron- rap electronic music yeah now i will say i will i will give mumble rap this because i hate it a lot i'm so excited to talk about mumble rap oh my god yes <laughs> i will say that it's absolutely one of those substations to black hip hop do I consider it hip hop no do I consider it rap yeah cause it's very mainstream poppy but mumble yeah. rap is very much like ugh I could do without it <laughs> mumble rap for me I <clears throat> mumble rap is it, it is an exploratory of Black vo- vocality, I think I would say. Um, black vocality, and it, it it is it's it's they're taking their own vernacular, they've taken their own vernacular and place it over over music. Like that's culturally a lot of a lot of music has done that in the past. Mm-hmm. 
especially if you think about like Negro spirituals, the way they're written, they're written in the dialect of Africans who were singing uh, at, at that time. Mumble yeah. rap does the exact same thing where it takes the vernacular of whoever, whoever's speaking, they place it over music and it's, it, if it were written out, it would be written as how, how they speak. Um, so really it's kind of like a way they've preserved their, like mumble rap has preserved the culture of the people that consume it. Again, because we've we've said this before, it's not for us. No, yeah, not at all. It's not. It's, it's not, not for me. That's that's <laughs> one of those things. Like I realize that I am of the age where there's a bit of there's a good portion of the music that doesn't make any sense, any logical sense. It's to so me. funny. The one that's that's um, big on the the doesn't make any sense to a lot of people, and we're, it's showing our age. It was like pushing P. It was like, what does that even mean? I was like. Damn, I don't know what that means. But I don't really care to figure that out. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> Even though um Astro told us what it meant, like mm. it it could be replaced with anything. Yeah. So, yeah. So you fully just said you you said a name and my immediate response was whomst. <laughs> because I, I got it. No, I got it. I got it. You know who I'm talking about now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was like, uh, everybody's got, got code names. Yeah, we we give code names here. Hi, mm-hmm. good morning. I got it. Yeah, I'm glad you caught up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Quentin. What's up? Everybody got code names. So, Quentin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Q. <laughs> Y'all can tell what I call him on a regular basis. Clearly, Q oh. is just weird. It's okay. true. But okay. Hello. Yes, what's up? Um that was loud. It was. <laughs> it was in fact. <laughs> this <laughs> episode's real fucking weird. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on today. <laughs> but mm-hmm. anyway. Um of the old school. Mm-hmm. Who do you feel spoke for the times the most? Which time? It depends. <laughs> yeah, which which time? Ooh, Ooh. rough. Because you, I, I've got one. Who you got? Stevie. And I knew before I asked the question he was gonna go there, because I probably could think of like three songs right now that ought to, that that like definitely speaks to the times. Mm-hmm. Conversation piece. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These three words. Sure, loves and need love today. And that was going to be my third one. You haven't done nothing? Uh, Living for the city. Nope. Oof, there's so many. I'm going to be so mad because I don't know any of these songs. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I heard them, I'd be like, oh, yeah, that's I've heard that, but like, <laughs> to no <know> titles? No. <laughs> it's just focus, focus, focus. Bring it here. We can fix this. We I can have, fix her. We have access to the internet. We can listen to the music whenever we want. They're in my phone. I know. We listen, can work on that. So. How do y'all know titles? How do y'all know song titles? How? Just, how? I, 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 Human jukebox. Yeah. Party of us. Oh, ooh, Lord, can't. I don't keep a reservoir. I I didn't do it on purpose. There's just a catalog, just 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 it's chilling just there, right in there. Even okay, so even with okay, let's okay, let's 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 go back. Okay. So we're in 2022. Yep. So let's do 2010. Who we got? Think of one or I two. I don't even remember 2010. What happened to 2010? Well, I graduated high school. Uh-huh. Well, um, I was only, I was only I was, three years ahead of you. I was 2010. I graduated in 2013. So I was in a sophomore. I was a sophomore in, in high school. Child. <laughs> I was. Wait a minute. I was out here. And I'm, I'm sorry. I was out here in 2010. Oh, she, I don't she know. She said, okay, she's three years behind me. Oh, no. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Are you sure? Wrap this shit up. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, so who can we who can we think of real quick? One or two? 
for 2010. Uh huh. God I damn. Like people from the I, I don't. don't know okay, the early songs. 2000s. Black Eyed Peas. Where's the love? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, Lupe Fiasco. I love Lupe. Wait, so t- 2010? Could we say? Well, no, Kid Cudi wasn't. No, that wasn't it. I guess Janelle. Janelle, early. Janelle, Janelle yeah. was a good one. Early tens, thousands. Um, uh, Outcast was early. Early two thousand. They was they were like Outcast two, early two thousand. Took 2000s. over, I think, about two or three decades. Yeah, easy. They're definitely <clears throat> mid, mid to late nineties, early two thousands. Early two thousands. So yeah. yeah. Um, Tupac and Biggie. Biggie didn't have as many songs. Tupac, but more Tupac than for Biggie. sure. Um, You're gonna have some people that I want to argue that. Sure, they could be wrong about it. <laughs> I, I was gonna say they could be, they so be listen, wrong about it. So listen, love Biggie. He My dad was, was talking the about weird superficial shit. Often, often. Tupac had well, several pieces that were like hard hitting. <laughs> Substance wise, yeah. So, uh, who else was in the nineties? God, who was who was doing stuff? Wait a minute, Will Smith. Where is he? The eighties. Eighties. He's the eighties. Him and Queen Latifah are both eighties. Queen Latifah, MC U-N-D-Y. Light, um, Salt and Pepper. Salt. No, I love them. Sure, love them a lot. Um, Rod Digger. Oh. Uh, the 90s had a whole bunch of people that was had, heavy here. Had, they were heavy. Um, TLC. Um, actually, you know what? Early 2000s, Kelly Rowland. I really hope that before Timbaland dies that he gets all of his flowers for everything that he's done. Agreed. <clears throat> yeah, he should. Sorry. I just, I just I don't know why I randomly I just, thought about I that. I like, so excited. I thought about Dr. Dre and then T-Pain. I love them both. Ooh, God, then, like, the, if we're talking about, like, Dr. Dre. Mm. N.W.A. N.W.A. N.W.A., for sure. Um, Ice Cube. Ice Cube, definitely. But he's the 80s, 90s. I mean, well, he's N.W.A. Yeah, but he also Ooh. went on his own and was doing uh, stuff on his own, too. Sure, but. It, I yeah, I mean, but, you know. Easy. I'm going to give him his flowers, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where do we go? <laughs> We're going through the. We're going backwards. Because we're, oh, we're going to stop at the sixties because we're we're out of time. Oh God! You're, oh Jesus! I don't even know if I can. Because we're at the we're at the eighties nineties now. Rappers delight. Um, who was Busta Rhymes a part of? Uh, was he? Um. Uh, I don't wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold Goody on, hold Mob. On. How'd I forget mm-hmm. about Goody Mob? I Goody don't know. Mob, Dungeon Family. All right, a tribe called Quest. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then she's like, because it's Q-Tip. Yep. So Lib Kweli. So Lib Kweli, yeah. Erica Badu. We, we forgot about Erica Badu. Um, about Jill Scott, Let Us See. We went back to the 90s, 2000s. Sorry. Okay, so 80s. We got the 80s down. <clears throat> yeah. 70s. <laughs> what era was Prince? Ooh. Several. several, several, yeah. yeah. So, so, 70s, 80s, Prince, 80s, Prince, 80s. Prince, uh, Michael Jackson. Bobby. Oh yeah, sure. Um, the whole Jackson, um, the whole Jackson. Motown Jackson as a collective. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Motown. So Where? Diana Ross. Yes. Smokey. Uh, Smokey. Chuck Berry. What decade was he? Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry, I think, was actually like around the 60s, 60s, 70s. Jimi Hendrix. Jimmy, uh, that's around 60s. 60s. Okay, so I jumped. Him. Yeah. Yeah. I jumped, my bad. Yep. Um, shit, y'all. There's so many black artists. Um, I mean, we could really go back. We I'm just going to start doing this stuff. all day. Um, we could just, uh, Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, um, Ella Fitzgerald, um, Maya Angelou. She be singing? Yes. <laughs> oh. Word. Yes. Eartha Kitt. Oh, I love um, Eartha. Oh, she fully counts. 
Fully. Fully counts. Um, Nina plants. Simone. <laughs> yes, Nina Simone. Josephine Baker. Um, yeah. Lena Horne. Diane Carroll. Like, all these women did music. Somehow, how, like, the powerhouse of the women. Powerhouse of the, the women from those Big eras. Mama Thornton. Aretha. Amazing. Anita. Uh, Patty. Gladys. Anita V. Baker. Anita, Anita Baker. V. Baker. Miss Patty LaBelle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Missy's Aretha Franklin. <sighs> so sorry. You said you said Missy's, and I was like, we didn't say Missy Elliott. What I did the, say Missy Elliott. I didn't hear you. Then we also didn't we didn't touch on it long enough. What are you about to say? There was okay a period of time mm-hmm. where like I was watching <laughs> I was watching a performance of Missy Elliott and I just started crying <laughs> cause she's just amazing yeah. um, like it was just so good so good she and means a lot to me she means the world to me she's Every amazing time. and the fact and that they, she is aging she like, oh like fine like wine fi- like the finest wine my god mm-hmm. yeah. god she looks so good the fact that she finally well finally yeah got we her forgot one more artist of the year we forgot like, one. What's that? Arsenal Millennial, I'm sorry. Ray Charles. Oh, oh Ray. Ray. True that, true we that. definitely got... You know what? We don't give him enough credit either. Jamie Foxx. True. He actually did a lot for not just, like, not just in music, but, like, as an actor mm-hmm. and comedian, like, he, he's made he's made a lot of progress. Yeah. He's made a lot of ways. He's mm-hmm. done a lot. <laughs> like, Jamie Foxx sure. show. Still, like I he, watch it. I'm he, still watching it on HBO. Jamie Foxx like, show was a twice. first for many people. Yeah, yeah. and, and I lo- I'm gonna be honest. I actually prefer Jamie Foxx over Martin or Fresh Prince. You know what? I'm gonna have to revisit that before I can even say anything. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So hear me out. Fresh Prince, Jamie Foxx, Martin. I. That's where I'm at. That's what I'm just letting you know. That's where my list is. Jamie Foxx, Fresh Pants Martin. I, I got it. I knew what you meant. I will revisit this and I will come back to you. Sure, 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 <laughs> But sure, yeah, sure. to wrap this all up, because um, there's still a lot of artists we forgot. So if we did, comment below what you think, who you think has made like a big staple on... A big impact? Uh, okay, sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, I was just making sure that... I knew what, what you were going for. Did I say big staple? You did. Okay. Big impact on the black community as a black person, not a white person. Oh. Don't come in here talking about Tina don't Marie. Don't come out. Don't come in here talking about... We don't about... need to talk about Tina Marie. <laughs> no. Oh, no. We do not. See, okay. See, I thought we were talking about like making like, so, like political things because we didn't mention Winnie. Oh shit! Whitney is definitely a part of the '90s. What the fuck? Why did we '80s '90s <laughs> action? We didn't mention Whitney, like Mariah. I don't care. She's you black. Can actually, be she's mad. Mixed. She's actually. You can mixed. be mad if I, you wish. <laughs> it's not about her blackness. Because I was like, it's she's not actually about the mixed. blackness. I know it's not about her blackness, but people are confused that Mariah is okay. in fact a black person. Has she or has she not had a major impact? I will on give music? her that. Thank you. All right. She just don't you like her. You can just like it all you like. Her and, and Mary J. Blige. Oh, yes. Fair. Mary J. You know. Oh, and also, shout out to my my my, my fictional baby daddy slash husband, Method Man, because he did too. But I already said that because he was oh, a part of the You're going to have to fight man. so many ways. I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys. Um... We went on a lot of tangents about blackness and and how music is intertwined into our social and political lives, but um, yeah, this yeah, is like a fever dream. <laughs> a what? This, this is like, a fever dream this, music man episode. It was, yeah. This is like a fever dream, and like it all went together, but didn't at the same time. No, it really did. <laughs> like and it this. made sense, and also, what? Yeah. <gasps> Layla Hathaway, Donnie Hathaway. I'm sorry, I'm done now. No, you get you had to get those in there because those those we would not forgive ourselves for any. Nat King Cole. Yeah, I was I was gonna say it, but we stopped. Natalie at, Cole. We stopped at the okay. 60s. All right. We so at the 60s. anyway, so um, awesome. thank you for watching another episode of Music Man slash Close with You Naturally. I'm your girl AJ. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that YouTube shit. Um, I'm Channy. Do all that YouTube shit. Uh, yeah, I'm Q. Follow us on Instagram. Um, oh, yeah, I that. will also probably get a Twitter started. 
Yeah, because we if we get on Twitter, I will I will happily tweet a lot. Oh I God, sure it would will. be so fun. Yeah. It would be so great. Yeah. But anyway, guys. Twiddle. Until next bye. time, bye. I need to go get some chicken nuggets. Bye. <laughs> I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So, we're done. We need to start doing side content again, or do we want to hold off on side content?